Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 8. And this is going to be my trailer breakdown for episode 20 for this season, the final episode, the finale for season 8, otherwise entitled Negative Part 2 or Book 2, one of the two. Um, but yeah, before we get into anything else, let's actually watch this trailer for the finale. Iris died in my arms. She's been erased from this timeline. You want revenge? Finding ways to kill you is my life's work. This has to end. Good luck. Who's faster now, Flash? The Flash. Season finale next Wednesday at 8, 7 central. Only on the CW. So the first thing I do want to say is thanks for everyone that did watch the trailer breakdowns this season. They are definitely one of my favorite videos to do just because you get excited for the next episode. You can sort of theorize what's going to happen. Of course, it sucks a bit when you you know you're not getting... An, an overall, you know, an overly amazing episode coming your way the next week, but they're still fun to do like 90% of the time. So yeah, I do want to thank everyone that watched them throughout this season. And of course we will be back for season nine because we got the renewal notice. So yep, I'll see you then in regards to the trailer breakdown side of things. But of course, last episode was the penultimate episode, which pretty much, you know, planted all the seeds needed for this week's finale. But the main stuff that happened is that we had the negative forces show their cards or just show up in general, which, you know, we theorized in various videos that, that was actually going to be the case, that they were going to play a part in the back half of this season or, you know, towards the end of this season. They were in the episode more than I thought they would. I thought it'd be like a minor cameo borderline sort of thing. But yeah, they actually played a really significant part within this episode. Don't know if that'll be the case in this finale, but in regards to episode 19, they were, you know, playing a pretty big part. But of course, in regards to combating against the forces, we see Barry teach Mina how to give some of her speed to the good Eobard that was partnered with Mina. He gets into his OG, you know, reverse flash suit. But throughout the episode, we think that the thorn at the beginning of the episode that was taken by Dion or aged rapidly and killed by Dion, that he was the sacrifice. However, all along throughout this entire thing that's been going on with Iris, she has been the sacrifice by the negative Dion. And we see her be put in front of uh, Barry's lightning bolts. She is hit, she is killed, and she fades away into the still force particles, which then go into the, you know, the OG Eobard Thorn with the Wellsabard one, the Tom Kavanagh looking Thorn, which was killed earlier in the episode, ripping the skin off of the OG Eobard or ripping his head in half, whichever way you want to put it, and emerging from it and just chucking the remains on the ground. And he just thanks Barry for, I think he said resurrection. I think in my, uh, in my review, I think he said revival, but I think in the episode he says resurrection, maybe rebirth would have been the better thing to say. But anyway, he thanks Barry and that's where we cut to black and we have to wait for, you know, the, another week for the finale to air to get the payoff from all of that. So obviously that's one of the crazier endings the Flash has ever had, not just for this season, but ever like it'd have to be. For me, it's probably top three, but for most people, I'll be surprised if it isn't top five. But I'm um, here yeah, before we get into the actual breakdown of the trailer, we will quickly read out the synopsis or description for the episode just to go through you know, what we usually do. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts, theories, um, predictions, expectations, just what you're looking forward to most in this finale. Always curious to hear what you guys are thinking, especially for an episode like this. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, you're looking forward to this episode and just want to show your support and you've enjoyed this season, The Flash for the most part, especially this back bit, uh, want to drop a like on the video to do all that. With The Flash still reeling from everything that just happened, the rest of the team rallies to support him when he needs it the most. So yeah, when the synopsis originally came out, we were like, oh, I wonder what he's going to be reeling from. And I was like, oh, maybe it's just something big that happens. Like, but not big, big, but just like, oh, okay, well, maybe Thorn comes back or something like that. Which is what happened, but to a horrifying, in, in like a horrifying way or to like horrifying detail in regards to like, ripping the other thorn, which Barry sort of got close to, ripping his head in half or ripping his skin off in order to re-emerge. And then, of course, the main thing, I guess, is that Iris supposedly dies. So, yeah, Barry's going to be dealing with a lot when we pick up with him in this episode. And I would assume that this episode is going to pick up right where we left off last episode. Because usually when they do that whole, like, to be continued, you pick up right where you left off. Like, it's as if, like, the episode never ended. And we just went into a long ad break. So yeah, I think it's going to be tense when this episode starts. But specifically talking about the trailer, we do kick off with Barry crying along with us seeing other members of the West Allen family as well, um, well also crying. And this is obviously like once Barry tells them what happened to Iris. Now, firstly, he says that she died in his arms, 
But then also when it looks like he's specifically talking to Bart and I'd assume Nora as well, that she has been erased from the timeline. That's what he says to them. So that makes you really wonder whether like early into the episode, they believe her to be fully dead, but then maybe they realize that she was just deleted from the timeline. And there is this tiny chance to bring her back if things go exactly the way that they want them to, or like their plan goes exactly the way it needs to. Like the only way that I can see that the iris that was hit by lightning that we saw at the end of last episode and faded away, the only way I can see that she comes back is if Thorn is killed and the particles or erased, whichever way you want to put it, but regardless, killed or erased, whichever way you put, want to put it, and the particles that brought him back, which came from Iris, then turn back into Iris. I think that is the only way that it could make some sort of sense if Iris was to come back, at least the Iris that we knew. But then again, maybe I'm missing something and they could have another way to explain it as to how they could bring it back. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But just going into the episode, the only way I can see that it makes sense that she comes back is if Thorn is killed and the particles that originally left her leave Thorn to then make her again. I don't know. If you have any other theories in regards to how she can come back, let me know in the comments. But in regards to Nora and Bart, we do see them line up alongside Barry and Mina here, and you have to assume that they are lining up against Thorn. Now, throughout the trailer, we do see Thorn in the yellow, well, new yellow reverse flash suit like we saw in Armageddon, and like we saw at the end of last episode when he xenomorphed himself out of the other Thorn's body or head, you know, at least like ripped his skull and heart to emerge anyway. Once again, what the hell was that? Crazy, but just crazy in the best way possible. So good. Like I'm only recording this trailer breakdown about like an hour after I recorded my review and I'm still coming down from that crazy ending. But yeah, you'd have to assume that they're going up against Thorn here, but it makes you wonder whether they're going to be of any use and like they might have to resort some, to some like other means in regards to helping them out. We'll have to wait and see, obviously, I guess. Now we do have Cecile saying that Barry wants revenge and it really makes you wonder how far Barry will go, you know? And like, will we get like bully Barry Allen? I know we have like bully Peter Parker, but we'll bully Toby Maguire, but will we get bully Barry Allen? Will he go as far as he possibly can to the point where we like, oh, Barry wouldn't do that. Because it really makes you wonder because obviously if you remember back to season three with Savitar, Iris was killed, but in that moment where he was emotional and holding Iris, it's revealed that it was HR. So you never got to see the full on aftermath of, like direct aftermath in regards to what Barry would do to Savitar in, in order to like get back for what he did to Iris. Here we are seeing that. So I'm very curious to see how far Barry gets, how angry he gets, and just to what level he would try and hurt, if not kill Thorn. You know, we're seeing pretty much what we could have seen in season three if there wasn't all that, you know, swap with HR. But in regards to Reverse Flash, Finding ways to kill you is my life's work. So that's said by Thorne, as you'd expect him to say. But then we also hear him say, who's faster now, Flash? So by the looks of it, someone's leveled up. Now, minor spoiler alert, but most people would have seen these photos from set by now. I won't show them again on screen, but if you have no, like, no clue what I'm talking about, sorry, but that's enough warning, I guess. But we, of course, did see Thorne in that different suit towards the end of this season. So this new suit from Armageddon that he was wearing at the end of last episode and throughout this trailer, it appears that this will only be like earlier or maybe like the first half or first third of the episode. And I have believed since those set photos that, that came out with him in the new suit that the other suit he wears is like a result of him maybe absorbing the other negative forces. So maybe he becomes like a full on negative reverse flash. And that's when he says like, who's faster than our flash because he's gained more powers and potentially more more speed. Now, whether the absorbing of the other forces is agreed upon by those other negative forces is another question. Like that could be another horror type scene where he turns on them and pretty much feeds off them in order to become even more powerful. But you would also have to assume that if Thorn takes on those other negative forces, he gains their abilities as well. Unless they just want to make it that he just gains all the negative, you know, tachyons and everything from them or whatever it might be, or just the negative you know, energy, whatever it might be. So still force powers, you know, strength force powers and sage force powers combined with his negative speed force would be ridiculous. And you've got to, it's important to remember like the still force and negative still force powers are just overpowered by themselves. So them alongside the strength sage and obviously his speed force as well. I mean, Barry would be in for one hell of a battle if that is exactly what goes down. Like I definitely wouldn't want to be on, you know, the other side. I wouldn't want to be in Barry's shoes or any of the good speeds to choose if that does go down. But it also makes you wonder if Thorn 
can sort of take control of the other th- of the other negative forces. Maybe it it releases the other good forces, and maybe they can give some of their energy to Barry. So Barry is, also has some of the of the of, of the still strength and sage. I was it's three S words. It's always like a bit of a struggle to remember them. But maybe it gives them a bit of a you know energy boost from them. So he has some use of those powers as well, where maybe they can counter Thorn's abilities. I'm not too sure, but. I think going into this finale, we should expect Thorn to be, at least him, be overpowered. But in regards to Thorn, is this the end of him? Now, we've brought this up here and there in this back half, and I honestly think it could be. If I had to make a choice as to whether it was the end of Thorn or wasn't, I would say that it is the end. And my main reason would be, it just feels like the build-up to the end of this story. But then, when it was said that this storyline for the end of this season was originally written as the final story ever for the show, as if season 8 was the final season, that sort of supported my choice even more. But maybe the renewal for season 9 changed their final choices for certain things in the finale. I don't know, but... Yeah, I, I just think this could be the end for Tom Cavanaugh's Thorn at the very least. Maybe they do a reverse Flash origin thing next season, which could include either Matt Letcher's Thorn or like a younger actor in the role as well. That's for us to wait and find out. But I think in regards to Tom Cavanaugh's Thorn, I just think this could be the end. Now, of course, this is a finale. This is a season finale. So what do you expect right at the end of a season finale or towards it? Cliffhangers. Now, I think they've pretty much already set up one of them in in season uh, in episode 19. And that was involving Caitlin. There was this one quick scene, shows her going into the cryopod. We don't see her coming out. I think the cliffhanger is going to be that the subconscious maybe with Frost works, but Caitlin herself gets powers and maybe Frost takes over. So they're trying to get that little bit of Frost out of her subconscious so they can sort of take from that and rebuild a body for Frost. I have a feeling they are going to rebirth Frost, but the, the bad, the really bad version of it, and it might take over Caitlyn completely. And that involves obviously Caitlyn or just Killer Frost taking over that body, which gives her powers. I think that could be a cliffhanger heading into season nine. Not saying it's 100% going to be the case. That's just my opinion going into it. But there's definitely going to be a cliffhanger revolving around that whole Caitlyn Frost thing. And my theory is that it's Killer Frost takes over Caitlyn's body. That's just mine. Um, But also a villain for season nine, you'd have to think that's another cliffhanger. That could be Killer Frost. Maybe that's the case there. Now, the thing is, is that... It's very important to remember the blood work thing that was teased in the final issue of the Earth Prime comic series that said that it would continue over into season nine. So for those that don't know, in the final issue of the Earth Prime comic series, right at the end, blood work escapes Argus. And they said that that story is going to continue into season nine. So maybe they have a scene in this finale that's maybe not a recreation of that, but maybe it's something that connects to it, whether it's a call from Cisco, whether it's a visit or call from Diggle, because he's still connected to Argus, that says that Bloodwork escapes, or maybe we legitimately just see Bloodwork show up. It could be something like that, or we see the Argus building and Bloodwork emerges from one of the doors. Something along those lines, that could be it. I don't think Bloodwork's going to be like a main villain for season nine, but they could do something where you see multiple villains come back for season nine, which could include Bloodwork. Killer Frost, maybe, amongst some other people. And maybe it's a bit of like a rogues type thing. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but that could be one cliffhanger leading into season nine if they want to do a villain thing. But then again, they could show us a main villain, like another evil speed star or whatever it might be. We'll have to wait and see. But of course, one of the other things that was revealed like a like a month ago, roughly, or something like that, for the finale is that we are getting a mystery cameo. Now, it could be the blood work thing, but I don't know if that's really a cameo. That just seems like more of a cliffhanger thing. Um... But yeah, we're going to begin like a mystery cameo. Now, this could be another speedster, like a new good speedster, like a Max Mercury. They did name drop Max and, you know, that was connected to the Still Force and everything like that. So maybe it could be him. We haven't seen him before, but if he shows up in like a comic book accurate suit, then like, you know, fans of the comics will be able to pick him out straight away or just people that watch the show that have looked up Max Mercury before. It could obviously be another hero from the Arrowverse that we usually don't see on the Flash. Like maybe like a Superman would be really cool that a lot of people think it could be. The other thing is that it doesn't necessarily say that the mystery cameo is right at the end of the episode, it's just in the finale. What if the mystery cameo, and this connects to the Earth Prime comics as well, is Spectre, so Oliver Queen Spectre, because he's in the finale of that Earth Prime comic series. He says like there's like cosmic danger of and he's talking to like the future heroes in 2049, which includes the Flash and all them, but he's talking to the future versions. But what if the Spectre shows up in the finale maybe to erase the other negative forces? Like they are gods pretty much. 
So maybe Barry can't get rid of them on his own. Maybe Barry needs a god of his own to rid them. Barry might be able to deal with Thorn, but in regards to the negative forces and everything like that, and, and like the amount of power, maybe Spectre shows up. That'd be a cool cameo, and maybe the cameo is involved in regards to getting rid of these negative forces. We don't know specifically what it's going to be, but it could revolve around that, and Spectre would be one hell of a character to deal with that. But I think that's definitely on the less likely option. I think you're more leaning into like another hero from the Arrowverse that we haven't seen, but like that we that we usually don't see on the Flash showing up like a Superman or something like that, or maybe even like a new speedster like Max Mercury. I think they're more likely than Spectre, but you never know. It could be an option to see Oliver Queen Spectre show up. But yeah, guys, that's it. From when this video comes out, we've got about like six days until the finale, so not too long to wait. And I can't wait to see what they do. But thanks for everyone that watched. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. You could drop a like on it, show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions about everything we went over. I'm always curious to read what you guys are thinking. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.